Minister, 2.4 billion being paid to disability service. I'm asking, will that fix the massive problem with disability services? How many more people per day extra have been seen by a case officer or a consultant? What are the service agreements that are in place? Are we getting value for money? The issue around disability service comes from not having a level playing field. Organisations like St Joseph's Foundation, Enable Ireland and St Gabriel's are a voluntary agency funded by the, by the government. The consequences of this is that they are constantly competing for the same staff that are required in the HSE where there is a proper progression uh, system. We've heard other deputies here in the independent group talk about home, home help. I spoke to a, a young mother uh, who has, uh, is home help. She gets one day off a week, midweek. Um, so she, what she has to do is she works seven days, she gets off one day because they're competing with the likes of the HSC, which are, are being paid bigger money for doing a job. And the home help and the likes of St. Joseph's, St. Gabriel's and uh, Naval Island are doing possibly double the work for less money. They're, they're doing a lot more on the ground and they're a voluntary organisation. They're getting paid less, less mileage, less everything and, and less improvements within their systems. But they're doing more work. These people do Trojan work around the, around the country. But then when there's people within their agencies have been snapped up by the HSC after they've been trained through these agencies. And that's a big problem. So we do need to look at recruitment and also for retainment. Within those services, they need to be paid well for what they do, the same way as the HSE have been paid. Thank you.